Hey there, I'm Talia, founder of Work Week Lunch, and today we are gonna talk about meal prep cleanup tips so that you can have a faster, easier, and hopefully more fun cleanup after you spend a few hours cooking for the week. I hope these tips really help you make cleanup a little bit easier because that's one of the big reasons people don't meal prep because cleanup sucks. Hopefully it won't have to though. So I just finished meal prepping. I've been at it in the kitchen from like 10 a.m. It's now about four o'clock and you know, I, I'm also photographing and filming stuff. So normally it should not take you from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. to meal prep. This is my job, so just keep that in mind. I have all my food here and I have left the kitchen a whole mess behind me. It is really messy. So I'm gonna take you through my process of how I clean up and also give you some tips and tricks along the way. I do have a dishwasher, so if you don't have a dishwasher, I'm going to probably have to make another video about clean up without one. I'm just gonna show you just what I do and hopefully it'll help you either way. But I just finished meal prepping. I didn't touch a thing um, after I finished so that I could shoot this video. This is the state of my kitchen. As you can see, it's quite a mess. There's quite a lot going on here. And I would say tip number one is that I usually take a break after I'm done. I literally just leave it like this for about 20 minutes and just sit on the couch and then I come back to it. That is tip number one. You can take a break, give yourself a break because you need to power through. All right, let's get started, shall we? There's, there's a lot to clean up here. The first thing I do is put away things like this that are in bottles. That's, a, that's my first plan of attack usually. The milk, the olive oil, things are just gonna kind of go away. Everything that has a place will be put back in its place. That's for step number one. I also usually listen to music or a book when I'm cleaning because it makes it a little bit more, I just kind of, you know, it's a distraction from what I'm actually doing. See, we are, we are making progress. Um, after everything has been put away, I then start collecting, you know, these scraps and trash in the kitchen and kind of organize that. So let's do that next. So usually what I do is I, I'll use like a, you know, this is like a piece of trash just to collect the scraps that I'm gonna compost. So that's what I'm doing now. So that's all I got so far. This is not compost, this is just, a little bit of garlic. And this is trash. That's all I got. I've shown this before, but I have my trash and my compost. So that little one's a compost. This one's a trash. These are not recyclable. It goes right in there. We are already looking better. Now I'm gonna deal with all of the dishes. So, you know, bowls, things that are left out, um, my sheet pan and pan over there, the Instant Pot, that's all gonna get dealt with. Look at that, we're looking a lot better. Now all I have to do is deal with the actual dishes. Once again, I apologize for the terrible lighting in my kitchen. This light went out. Um, so uh, I broke the rule and I'm start not starting my, my cleanup with an empty dishwasher. These are dirty from last night. Uh, normally you would want to start with an empty dishwasher. This is empty enough though. I, I have faith that I will be able to fold it, fill this up with most of the stuff will be in here. It'll be fine. But yeah, generally the tip is always start with an empty dishwasher you will thank yourself later so make sure to do it before you start prepping just remove everything and yeah give yourself a clean slate so my plan of attack here is usually to get all the little you know forks and knives get them in there first um i never put wood cutting boards or wood utensils in the dishwasher i never ever put my knives in the dishwasher that's why i kept them out I also keep knives out so I don't accidentally stab myself. It's happened. Um, but everything in here will get washed with regular, regular dish soap and a sponge. I don't use any fancy cleaning products, just regular dish soap and a sponge. 
that's what does it for me. So now I'm gonna do the dishes, which is probably everyone's favorite part, right? No, I know, it's everyone's least favorite part. And so what I like to do to make it a little bit more enjoyable is to continue listening to an audiobook or podcast or music. Uh, that helps me a lot, just kind of stay a little distracted from what I'm doing. Um, I always make sure I use warm water for some reason. Warm water helps me just feel more comfortable doing dishes. Cold water doing dishes, like no thank you, no. And the last thing I do, which is kind of makes it a little interesting, is I try to time myself for 30 minutes. And I try to make sure that I get everything done in a 30 minute window. So that's gonna be dishes, sweeping the floors, and cleaning off the counters, and putting all the food away, which is still out there on my table. The, the timing thing kind of, it's like a, you know, just kind of like a mental trick because it just motivates you. Like, okay, I have to do it 30 minutes. You get it done faster, you're very focused, and after 30 minutes, it's over. And then you're like, all right, you get to move on with your life. So. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna rinse off all the dishes, put them in the dishwasher, and do everything else. It's 4.18, so I'll see you in 30 minutes. All right, so here we are, we're almost done. Um, the sink, pretty much empty, you just have the Instant Pot ready to clean clean and go in here. I've taken out my skillets. I, I usually just wash these by hand. Um, same with these, I'll wash my hand, wash my hand for these, but that wasn't so bad. It, I started, that only took 10 minutes. So I'm gonna just finish this up and get the rest of the kitchen clean. Here's where we're at now. The dishwasher is running and I have to dry these pots and pans that I hand washed and wipe down my counters and sweep and put food away. Quite a bit left to do, but still going strong. For the counters, I use um, a regular old spray and I just use a paper towel, but everything else I use um, reusable towels for. The paper towel is the only thing that I use for like cleaning and throw them away, but the rest I try to use um, the ones that you can actually throw in the washer and dryer. So that's the main way I reduce waste when cleaning up. We are almost done. Just gotta pack up the food, sweep the floors, and then that's it. And I can relax and get my takeout. That's another tip. Always get takeout after you meal prep. You do not want to mess up your kitchen again and cook. And you don't want to eat any of your meal preps because they're meant for the next day. And we are done. That is it, my kitchen is clean, the floors are swept, dishes are getting washed in the dishwasher, and I don't have to really do any major cleanup all week long because I meal prepped. So most of the cooking is done. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video helped you make your cleanup easier, faster, more enjoyable. I know it kind of sucks, but we all gotta do it. And uh, I appreciate you being here. If you have any cleanup tips, Put them in the comments. If you have any questions, drop them below. I will answer them. And um, while you're on your way out, just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye!